survived an attack on uh, the Thai island of Koh Tao. And this occurred uh, back on or about the 26th of May 2013. Uh, for the purpose of this interview, his name is George. That's not his real name. But he's from the Netherlands, uh, where he has worked as a croupier. He's currently in lockdown with the COVID crisis. Um, welcome to the channel, George. Yeah, hi, Ian. Thanks for having me. Uh, uh, my pleasure. Okay, would you like to uh, tell the viewers just from the beginning uh, of your arrival on Koh Tao, uh, what happened, please? Yeah, sure. So, uh, me and a friend, we, we arrived on Koh Tao. Uh, yeah, found a, found a guest house, nice place to sleep, close to the beach. Yeah. Uh, and this was near yeah. Sairi Beach, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And then we were just there to you know, have a couple of days of fun before we would, were moving on to, to Koh Phangan. Where, which is another island nearby, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, sort of, yeah, first day, first night, all good. Uh, had some fun. The next day, uh, in the evening, we decided to have some drinks, like more in like the center part of the, the town, let's say. Or the uh, beach, yeah. Or the beach, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the idea was to make our way back up along the beach, have a couple drinks here and there, and then, yeah, make our way back to our guest house. Yes. Uh, so that's what we did. Uh, then around, probably around three at night, we ended up at the, the beach bar that was, let's say, in front of our guest house, or just yes. a couple hundred meters away. Yes. Um, and we sat down there. Uh, well, I, well, I think I was the one that bought the drinks. Uh, yes. My friend sat down there with, with two Dutch girls. He, he just got to meet there. Yes. Uh, I sat down beside them, well, beside my friend. Yeah. And yeah, we just started chatting a little bit. Uh, when all of a sudden uh, we hear a dog suddenly barking and, and or, or, or Having pain, I guess. I, I don't know how to... Yelping. Yeah. Yelping. Yeah. Let out a yelp, I think you said before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we looked over that direction and then uh, we asked the, the guy what happened. And... The guy, was that, was that a, um, an Asian guy or a Thai guy? Yeah, that was an Asian guy. He was uh, working at that, that bar where we are yep. having, the, having the drinks. Uh, yeah. Well, he, he didn't reply, but his reply was uh, spitting on the ground in, in front of me. Okay. Um, that didn't feel right. Uh, anyway, we just we stayed there for, for just a little bit more. A couple minutes later, he, he did the same thing, walked by, spit on, in front of me on the ground. Yes. And that moment I was, I felt like this is not right. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you uh, worked that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I, I, I said, I told to my friend, I said, this ain't right, let, let's go. You know, mm -hmm. and he was like, no, it's, it's okay. And these girls were like, no, it's okay, not, nothing to worry about. I was like, no, it's not okay. Mm -hmm. So I left. It was just one, one path from the, that bar, from the beach to our guest house. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just made my way back. Then while I was walking down that path, yeah. I hear footsteps behind me. So yes. I looked back. I see that same guy with an empty bottle in his hands. Yes. Uh, walking like maybe 10 meters behind me. Yep. So I, I just immediately kicked off my flip flops and started running. Yes. Uh, towards my guest. I, I took the, f I was smart enough to take the front entrance of the, of the guest house. Yes. So there was also a back entrance, but yep. if I, I I figured if I'm walking there, he might know that I'm I'm staying here, and then he will still yep. find me. Yes. Uh, one little uh, detail, I guess. On the when I, when I was running to the guest house, he threw the bottle after me, and I, yes. I heard it. I heard it. Uh, uh, break on the ground. Yeah, smash on the on the ground or on a rock. I don't know. Yep. It, it broke. That that's for sure. Yeah. Um, arriving at my guest house, we 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 slept on the on the ground floor. Uh, yes. I found out I didn't have the key with me, <laughs> so oh. I, I just hid behind the closet, yeah. like shaking shaking in fear, and then hoping that my friend would come as well. Yes. And then 
a couple minutes later, my 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 friend ran into, came into the back door with some blood on the side of side of his face. Yes. Uh, yeah, we quickly we opened the door. Uh, yeah, lights out, flat on bed. Yep. And, and then some minutes later, we hear. Okay. Like if a bunch I can just sorry, if I can just interrupt you for a moment. Uh, yeah, you sorry. were telling me before sorry. that uh, when your friend arrived with the blood coming down his face, you told me that uh, he'd been uh, hit uh, by a glass bottle from the same fellow. Well, that... no, no he, not with the bottle. He just he just got hit by something. He, he, but well, yeah, whether it was he, it, it, it wasn't like a like a gushing gushing out or something. Yeah. But, but it was it was definitely bloody. Yeah. Uh, and it was the same fellow. It was the same fellow, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. It was the same. He, he basically met him. He was making his way back to the beach, and my friend was making his way to the guest house, and they they yep. met somewhere in the middle, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. The guy punched him. Uh, he pushed my friend. Pushed him away. Started running as well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. As we were in our room, a couple minutes later, we we or even a minute later. Yes, we hear like a bunch of guys outside on motorbikes and chatting yes. in Thai, like obviously looking for us. Okay, look when you say that they were chatting in Thai, can you understand the difference between, say, the Thai language and you know perhaps Burmese language? Um, at that time, at that time, no, no, no. Okay, it, 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 no. So I, I, they were chatting in an Asian language. Yeah, it, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay. No, at that time I I, I didn't I didn't uh, couldn't hear the difference between okay. Thai or, or Khmer or or Burmese. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. we 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 just we just waited till 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 the sun came up. Uh, yeah. We took the first first like the taxi we could, or car we could find with the, back to the harbor and took the first yeah. boat off to to Koh Phangan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you fled the island. Um, the okay, so that was, I think you said that that was about six in the morning or some very early time like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as, as soon as the sun as it was light, we, we okay. Yeah, right. We just decided to go. Yeah. Okay. Well, look. Um, one of the questions I asked you before is, what do you say to people who maintain that so long as you, as a tourist, as a guest in Thailand, so long as you are respectful of Thai culture, you won't get into any trouble. Uh, what do you say to uh, people who have that argument? Yeah, well, first of all, I, I think it's a good idea wherever you go to to respect the the locals and then the, and, yes. and, the, and the culture. I mean, yes. that's just common sense if you, yes. if you ask me. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in my point of view, I, I've always been respectful to people. I, I, I yep. knew like the in Thailand, like the, the basic norms and, and values, like things that you absolutely shouldn't do. And, yeah. you know, so I, I always try to uh, be polite. Yeah, live by, live by those norms and, and yeah, and, yeah like respect people. And I don't, I don't think at any moment I, I, I disrespected anybody. I, yeah. I think it was just uh, like, the wrong wrong place at the wrong time kind of thing mm. and it, it could it could happen to to anyone yes yeah. and i think that you also said that you've been to other places of thailand and you uh, didn't have any trouble whatsoever and that you found uh, the people to be perfectly friendly and polite yeah yeah for sure i, I mean i mean at, at the the time the incident happened that was my my first week in in thailand i've only been yes. to bangkok before that yes uh but in the years after that, I, I've been to, I came back to Thailand multiple times. I've been to mm. other islands. I've been to the north. I've been, I've been to to uh, places more towards the uh, Cambodian border. Yes. Uh, okay. Fair enough. I, I, I did a decent amount of border crossings. Yes. Okay. And and I, you always hear people about the trouble at the border crossings and everything. I always, I never had any trouble. Always yep. people are helpful. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so, so no, was that, nothing, was, nothing against Thailand. Yeah, it was Just, only uh, okay. Yeah, I, I've got nothing against Thailand either. Uh, I find the vast majority of Thais to be perfectly polite and friendly, um, but there are there's a very 
dark um, underbelly in uh, the very southern part of Thailand and certainly in uh, the Gulf of Thailand where um, you know, we've had piracy for hundreds of years and uh, in that region there are lots of people who are descended from pirates and drug smugglers and human traffickers and so forth. Um, but yeah, I did ask you before um, what you thought may have uh, triggered the fellow to spit in front of you and then subsequently attack you and uh, the only thing that you and your friend could think of apparently was um, that your reaction after the dog yelped and uh, you'd sort of gathered that perhaps he kicked the dog or hurt the dog in some way. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the, I mean, the, the, it's, it sounded like the, the dog was definitely hurt. That, that's, yeah. the, that's what it sounded like. And then yeah. we just we just looked at that direction and... Yes. Uh, oh, what, what happened? The, that's yeah. the only thing that... Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and just before we uh, finish up, uh, because this will be a fairly short interview, um, I did ask you whether uh, anyone took any pictures of your friend's uh, injury to his face or whether it would, he'd sought any medical attention or whether uh, it was reported to anybody. And uh, what were your answers to those questions? Yeah, no, uh, well, we didn't report it to any, any uh, well, certainly not to the police. We, we, yeah, we talked about it with friends, of course, but uh, mm. Yeah, that, that's it. No, we also he didn't get any any treatment. It wasn't it wasn't wasn't that bad. It was yep. just a, yeah, just a little 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 wound, just just some blood. Yeah. Yep. So it it didn't it didn't even need need medical tra treatment, but yep. it was just also uh, like we we felt that we were like really lucky to to escape yes. actually because mm. you know these these guys they were not they were not looking for us to to have a to, to talk over it and have a cup of coffee right they, they, they were they were looking for us to yeah yep. i don't know what would have happened yes i, I remember well, yeah i remember my my friend saying if they find us he said we're not going down without a fight i said yep. <laughs> and i'm thinking oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, okay. that, that probably wouldn't have ended ended well i guess yeah. But, yeah. well in fact um I think that I mentioned, I did ask you before how tall you are, it's hard to tell over uh, Skype, but you said that you're almost 1.9 metres tall and yeah. that your friend is approximately the same height, yeah. but he's, right. um, he's much more solid, he's much more muscular. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, this, guy, did did, or this particular guy, he was probably like, we were probably like two heads taller than him, but yeah. Yeah. no fear, no fear. Yeah. <laughs> Well, one of the things, of course, is that a lot of the uh, people on uh, Koh Tao are armed to the teeth with uh, pistols and rifles and um, punch knives and um, machetes and all manner of nasty weapons. Um, yeah. And they know that they can call for backup. So a lot of uh, Thai people, and look, we'll assume that he's Thai. He might be Burmese, he might be Khmer, but um, the Burmese are very... Um, docile and subservient on uh, Koh Tao. Um, they basically uh, don't want to get into trouble with anyone. So he's almost invariably going to be Thai. Um, but they know that if they get into any dispute with um, a Farang or a or Westerner, they know that um, they can have half a dozen or a dozen of their friends jump in and join them. And um, a lot of the Thai gangsters are extremely brave when uh, they're backed up by a whole bunch of their friends, but they're not quite so brave if it's um, if it's if they're on their own. But um, look, uh, well, thanks so much for the uh, for your time today, and thanks for coming forward. And I think that you actually mentioned because I did ask you, how did you find my Facebook page or my YouTube channel? And my Facebook page, by the way, is uh, Koh Tao Death Island. Uh, but I asked you how you discovered my uh, my page and my channel and you said that your girlfriend has an interest in murder mysteries and um, she stumbled across my page on YouTube or my yeah, channel correct. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah correct. Okay. Yeah. And then she, uh, when she discovered my channel, uh, she, you said that she knew about your story and then she directed you uh, to my channel. Is, does all that yeah, sound? Yeah, well, we, we, were, we were in the same room at the time she was... She was okay watching it so she just yeah she, she showed me the yeah. your channel and then yeah. i had to look myself and yeah and then you got in touch with me yeah then i just decided to 
Yeah, tell you my story. I'd like maybe 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 you'd be interested. I mean, yes. Yeah. Well, maybe the viewers are interested. I hope the viewers are interested. But uh, it's it's a sort of story I've heard a lot. But I don't always get to actually interview people who are prepared to um uh, to go on camera. But you know, in your case, uh, you don't want to mention your true name, which is very sensible too, uh, and that's up to you, of course. Um, but look, thanks again for. Uh, uh, coming onto the uh, channel and if there's anyone else who has similar stories um, I'd be uh, happy to hear from you and um, perhaps we can make a similar uh, video and have a similar interview uh, but if you thought this um, video was um, helpful or you thought that um, uh, George did a good job please give it a thumbs up uh, I'm sure George would appreciate it I know I would and if you've got any comments below about what George should have done or should not have done or what he did well by getting off the island so quickly uh, please leave a comment below and uh, consider subscribing, but otherwise stay safe. And uh, thank you, George, for um, all of your time. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you as well. For okay. Me. Cheers. Bye for now.